Local episode here at number six with cheese. If you're new, guess what? We love smoked meats. And if you're on the quest for the best barbecue restaurant in the city and surrounding the surrounding Chicago area, uh, Chicago Culinary Kitchen, epic, oh, yeah. probably number one. Green Street smoked meats, epic. Probably number two. Cheers. Cheers. Top pastrami. Mm. Shut up. Today we're going to a place a lot of you guys said ranks just up there as well. Smoke Barbecue on Pulaski Road. Uh, he's getting the chopped brisket sandwich and I'm getting the sliced brisket sandwich. So very, very excited. All you smoke fans, the video is finally here. Let's go. Do you like when I keep this door open? Oh, go f yourself. Shout out to places that just put the menu on the side of the building. You picking up? Uh, yeah, it was for Sean. That's it. Thank you. All right, guys, we got them. Two different ugh, brisket sandwiches from Smoke Acquired Jump Cut. Oh my God, it smells like a smoker in here, dude. Like a smoker. Did I give you a receipt or? Uh, emailed. Emailed. Sick. So shut up. So I don't need that. You sure it emailed or check your I guys? swear to G. Right, awesome. This guy is obsessed with taxes and not getting audited. <laughs> uh oh. Capital gains tax. You know what? Let's break one rule. This one's yours. Someone was really worried about me for that. So I can still get an open container. Mm -hmm. Not worried. I used to drink, I used to let my friends drink with open open beers in the car, let alone a flask. Yeah, every time you see me doing something wrong, Corey's done three times worse something, <laughs> yeah. probably 10 minutes before that. Yeah, not worried about it. Don't worry about it. I also thought it was funny how much I drank in that video, and that at one point I looked at the video and it had 120 upvotes and no downvotes. I like that that didn't rub anyone the wrong I way. I respect it. That could have very easily. because we're building a fan base that, that mirrors us a little bit. Yeah, which we got rid of the trolls, and now we got all the garbage feeders like us. I got one troll that I'm obsessed with. Who is it? He's been making a comeback. Keemster Memester. He just tells oh. you know, how sloppy he wants me to eat. Oh yeah. Yeah, he seemed like a real like, he's he a real one. He was there on day one, mm -hmm. and then he disappeared for many months, many moons. Yep. And now he's finally made a little comeback asking for my sweet, droopy, sloppy <laughs> bites. I'm, I'm a, about it, bro. I love Keemster Memester. All right, here we go. Uh, we've never been here before. This is a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, open it up and see what we got. And here we go. Okay, I like that they do the sauces second for you, you know? I respect the fact that they give you both, both. too without having to ask. Dude, right? Yeah. How sick is that? I actually kind of like this bun. This is interesting. And then this is the, what do they call this? Chopped? Yeah, that's the chopped brisket. This is the chopped brisket. So you're seeing all the char on it. What do they call that? Crust maybe? I think bark. someone told us. Bark. Bark. So this is all the, we got a lot of bark on there, which is delicious. The meat looks amazing and tender. You can see some pinkness in there. I don't know. I just love it. I do too. That looks really good and I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. If you've had brisket, you know how good it is from a place that everybody says you needs to go. <laughs> so this should be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which one of us is thick and bold and which one of us is thin and vinegary? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a joke? Did they do that on purpose? <laughs> I'll show them real quick on the big Oh, look at that. Yeah, dude. So here's the, uh, I got the sliced brisket. And show them that. Oh, yeah. See that? Yeah. See that long uh, slice, if you will? And then the bark on top. It smells incredible. Look at that. That is just visually, if you're a barbecue person, you are erect right now. Mm. You don't need to be ashamed. You can have a boner when you're hanging around Sean and Corey, and we'll, we'll celebrate it. Crikey. I think you might have gotten the end, too, which is awesome. Yeah. I like the, the the tip part is always so tasty. You love a good tip, dude. I do. Mm -hmm. First day I met you, that's the first thing you complimented about me. Nice you, tip. You went, dude, honestly, sorry, I thought the uh, wipe in the mouth would have been funnier. <laughs> oh, I thought you actually had something on your face. <laughs> It was dude, just a bad joke. I'm so used to <laughs> you having just sloppy food all over your face. I'm like, oh, so it's happening again. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm around you a lot and I'm always sloppy with my food. And you know what? You still love me the same. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Dude, brisket down! The brisket down! The amazing thing about this is, other, other than this, 
one little thing, it landed in the door. It, so can you see that? Can you yeah. see it landed in the I door? Can't really zoom so in. it it's fine. Look at this. It just lifts right out. I couldn't have dropped that any better. <laughs> God, I suck. I just, you know, you don't, I don't, mm. don't got a lot of room to operate. Very excited. Smoke, Pulaski Road, brisket. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. That barbecue sauce is really good. The Memphis style is a real deal. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Oh man, wow, that's good. Yeah, brisket you just can't go wrong with. Right, especially when they do it like this. Who knew I'd like bark? I know, man. I think bark's my favorite part of the yeah. barbecue. I love that char. This is just literally falling apart. I looked at it and I saw a piece fall mm -hmm. off. That's tender. Wow. Potato bun, I think. Oh, is that what it is? I kind of like it. I'm getting like a potato bun uh, kind of vibe here. I mean, $11, like, it's just the meat and the bread. They give you the sauce, but like they don't do anything else to it, and it doesn't even need it. Wow, brisket is just so good. I know. Is the thing is, is that, that it's just time consuming? Yeah, I mean you gotta cook it low and slow, as they say. So like, I did one on Thanksgiving in my Instapot, and it was great. But like, there's just That's something right. about the smoke flavor, and probably cooking this for like 12 hours is just something about it. It's a lifestyle. We talked about this in the Green Street Smoked Meats episode. Like when I, we first had barbecue, when I had smoked meats, I went that unlock, unlock, unlocked. It unlocked a new, like, echelon of my, like, f my tongue and my flavor palette. Like, there's just something about smoking meats. It's unlike any other food preparation. Yep. And something I like about brisket, and this is gonna sound like maybe a negative, but I consider it to be a positive. I'm already done eating that. <laughs> there's something about brisket that it's so flavorful. Yeah. And so, such a strong flavor that after a few bites, I kind of don't want the, like, I don't want it anymore. Uh huh. But not in a bad way. Mm hmm. It's more like my taste buds are like tapping out. Right. Like, they're, all right, we've had enough, enough of the flavor. And brisket saves so well. Yeah. I can take this home. I like something that I don't need to like gorge on. Like, sometimes you know those foods that like you just can't yeah. quit eating. And the next thing you know, you feel fat and sloppy. Like, you can do that with this. But I can easily put this down, be like, wow, I'm really content with those bites. And then come back tomorrow. Night, mm -hmm. drunker, mm -hmm. reheat, mm -hmm. slam piece, barbecue done. Yeah, I think brisket's like chili. It gets better with age. You can put it in the refrigerator and reheat it in your air fryer, your mic even your microwave, and it seriously enhanced. The flavor has somehow gotten stronger. Mm -hmm. Like that Seinfeld episode where the, the BO in the car has somehow gotten uh. stronger. <laughs> Wicked fun. Wow. I can't sell this car. That's like what this is. Um, it's so good, man. Like also barbecue traditionally is like when you get it by like the plate, it's kind of expensive. Like I like a lot of different flavors. Yeah. Like if I'm gonna go to a barbecue place, I would love the like smoked chicken, the the hot links, the brisket, like when the we pulled just CCK pork. And you I get, like, like a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And I try not to fill up on sides because a lot of times barbecue places have sweet oh, sides. Oh yeah, them. some good mashed potatoes and whatnot, corn on the cob. But for this show, I mean, this is a ten, eleven dollar sandwich. Like, if we were, we're going to do that today, I mean, you're going to spend fifty, sixty bucks. Yeah, you know right. What I, mean? I kind of think I like the sliced. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is more my speed, the like sliced brisket like that, like. Chopped is really good too. I just don't mind the like thicker bites. I kind of like the thickness of brisket. Yeah, and usually if I get something chopped, it's for like ease of eating. Mm -hmm. Like I want to take a bite and like sometimes if you have like a big long piece of bacon, you take a bite mm -hmm. and the whole bacon slides out of the burger and mm -hmm. I don't like that. When you're talking about brisket this tender, mm -hmm. that's the, you're not going to take a bite into that and have it like pull a exactly. large. It's going to, you're slicing through it. Exactly. The slice shouldn't scare you off. A hundred percent. And I'm kind of glad we tr tried both because I was thinking that and now I know for sure mm -hmm. slice is fine all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, at wow. least that smoke where they're making it really tender. I don't know if there's crappy barbecue places. That I'm are sure. Good. I'm sure. What's like the place in the south I would always go to was like the Applebee's of barbecue. I think it was called Sunny's. S O N N Y. Not bad, but very much like I was at a Chili's that made all the brisk, yeah. all the like the barbecue sides. All new tonight, we have a special dirty dining report on a popular barbecue joint. We're just learning that Sunny's Barbecue, known for its fresh off the smoker, fall off the bone ribs, had some unwanted guests crawling around that smoker just last week. On January 15th, after finding over 25 live roaches by the smoker next to the walk-in cooler. Like my dad loves Sunny's. He's one by his place and like, it's good. It's just then you go, <laughs> I like took my dad to Green Street Smoked Meats and he was like, oh, Oh, this is Next why you, this is why you kind of trash Sonny's a little right, bit. Right, right, right. All right, we're at Green Street Smoked Meats. He said he doesn't know how it's possible that food can be like this. Also, we're drinking Coors Banquets. What do you think so far? I don't even know how 
I'm gonna be able to talk and, and describe it. <laughs> it's like, you know what I feel, uh, the way I feel about that, or like a similar analogous situation, would be when I hear people talk about going to Six Flags. Oh, Six Flags! Oh, oh I know Six where you're Flags. going. Oh. I know where you're going. And I'm like, bro, I grew up 45 minutes away from America's Roller Coast. The greatest amusement park in the universe, that's the actual title of the award. It really year. is. For like 15, 20 straight years, Cedar Point, if you're a fool, then you don't know about it. If you're highly intelligent and a man of culture, then you probably are aware of it. Uh -huh. And people who go to Six Flags, it's like JV style Cedar Point. It's it like, is. what's the point? It is. And then every, I would like go around the country and people like, dude, you gotta go to Six Flags in Tampa. Yeah, and you go and they got like six medium sized <laughs> roller coasters and you're like, yeah, this is it? You, oh, so you guys can just come here for an hour mm -hmm. or two. Yeah. So at Cedar Point, you gotta spend all day. Mm. That is a, like, that could even be a two day thing. And then hit right. Soak City too. Right. And just watch like the babes from Sandusky, Ohio, oh, just looking good. Sandusky, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> That's where the hottest women in the world are. Yeah, if you're into meth. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guys, too, just so you know. It's definitely the guys, too. Are you insane, man? You can't put that junk in your body. It'll kill you. And those are just the side effects they tell you about. I get the sweats, my bones are cold, my teeth are loose. All right, before we go ahead and rate the uh, brisket sandwiches that we each had here today from Smoke, let's do a shout out. Let's do it. Merch out of merch out of merch out of. Number six with cheese.com is our website. And on our website, you can snag merchandise like this shirt right here. This is on there. We got the Monday drunk shirt. We got the one of those lightweight hoodies that there's only a couple left. Crazy how well those have done. Bottle openers. Koozies, pins, all kinds of stuff. When you buy something, think of it as an investment to number six with cheese. You know what? You know, I'm not saying that you should use it as a tax write-off. You'd probably get audited, but you could. I mean, Sean and Corey do not. <laughs> Today, two names of people that bought off the website, including the Sixer Sauce, um, fun little thing, we've talked about this a little bit this week, we're crafting a hotter version of this, like a spicy version, hot, with Chef Iron Mike. And this is a little prototype. It's really good. Biohazard. And merch order number one goes to Miss Michelle Justice. <laughs> well, uh, first off, sick name. Yeah. Michelle Justice. That's yep. awesome. Superhero. Uh, jump to the front of the frontest line by signing up for that hot sauce subscription, which means we're sending her a bottle of our Sixer sauce every single month. Sending that straight to Kingman, Arizona. Never heard of it, but it sounds like an amazing place. Sounds hot. Sounds hot. Like the women in Sandusky, Ohio. Ooh. Oh, and the men. Up. I'm going to tell you about what a pain it actually is to be beautiful. They got holes in their teeth. It's awesome. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Michelle, for uh, getting that hot sauce subscription. I hope you're loving all the Sixer sauce we're sending your way. And merch shot at number two goes to Mr. Jonathan Smith. Woohoo! Jonathan, and we sent that to Adrian, Michigan. We both know where that is. Dude, the hot sub subscription for Jonathan too. Um, so if you snag that, you jump to the front of the line. Is the echo coming from my voice into my flask? I think it was. Because it's so empty. And I think it went in down through your groin because it was in your lap when I heard the first echo. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Wow, this is a science channel now. Yeah, you got a little d echo coming out of there. A what? D echo, it's because <laughs> your urethra is so wide. Hey, hey. Well, that's creepy. Number six cheese.com is our website. You punch it's, it into a browser. Way. Let me finish Real this. Real quick, if someone was walking by right there, it would have just looked like you were screaming at your at your. Hey, hey, hey! Like you're trying to wake it up for me, like you can't get it up. Yeah, yeah. You're like don't worry, this never happens. I, I know how to get them up. Hey, hey! Okay. Get up! Get up! Get up! <laughs> now you're trying to do I, that. Hey, I'm sorry about that. I've had a lot of whiskey. <laughs> we talked about this earlier when we were getting ready. I'm not gonna do this to me again. Sorry, I figured that might be worth it. Yeah, go to our website and buy our hot sauce. Uh, the subscription, you get a bottle to your door every month. It helps the show. And I wanted to say too, real quick, I had some of the Carolina style and it was really good. Oh, it, was it? It was too thin and it was too vinegary, but if you're into that, man, did that hit the spot. And the nice thing is they gave it to us both. I'm probably gonna try this when I go home. Yeah, man. I mean, not right when I get home, it's not like I'm gonna take it like a shot, but I'm gonna wait till I get hungry later and then put it on something. I wonder what would happen if you mix the two together. Would like a, a sauce genie come? Whoa! Yeah, an old plantation owner would come out and say some racist stuff. Oh dude. my god! Well, dude, I mean, we're talking about Memphis and Carolina over here. <laughs> yeah, dude. you don't gotta say it. <laughs> so I'm still laughing at your dry, your Bible Belt dry rub joke. <laughs> you know what they love down there in Memphis? They love that dry rub. Oh it's a big, yeah. It's a big dry rub city. Yeah, I think that's because is that because it's in the Bible Belt and they were only allowed to dry rub? Yeah. <laughs> That is That's such an underrated joke. <laughs> Out of five. Uh, ooh, dude. Mm. Smoke from Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. Unlocked dude. him. He was like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Reptile, but he had gray everything. Yeah. And he would throw like a smoke grenade and it would appear and disappear. Wow. Which is, he was just a magician. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was actually just a, like a cut-rate magician, like a yeah, children's magician. Yeah, Copperfield. <laughs> oh, cool. There he is. Yeah. 
Anyways, out of five of him, I did love playing as him though. Uh, what do you give the, you had the chopped brisket for 11 bucks, what do you give it? Oh, I thought that was amazing. The brisket was perfect in my opinion. It was just so flavorful and tender and delicious and the bark was good. Mm -hmm. And that barbecue sauce was really, really great and the bun was amazing. Uh, I will say, uh, and this is nothing against them because they're top notch, I still gotta give a little bit of a nudge uh, I think to Green Street Smoked Meats, I think is just a uh, still a hair above them. So because of that, I'm not going to give it a five. Now, also, I have no idea what I gave Green Street Smoked Meats. So you I gave could... it five. Oh, okay, good. I was going to say, I very well could rate this <laughs> higher. Five. We both give well, it a five. Thank God. Yeah, one of the best meats I've ever had in my life. That's a five. No brain. Either way, it was really, really good. I'm going to give it, obviously, a super solid 4.9. So right there, right there. Yeah, I'm still going CCK as one. I don't mm -hmm. think any, I don't think anybody, I don't think a restaurant has touched them in no. what they're doing. CCK is like my favorite place in maybe the world. The only bad thing about them is that they're in Palatine, Illinois. Yeah. And that's not, that's where they live. That's not their fault. Yeah, no, I mean, it's still their fault. <laughs> Greg and Christina, like, Come to the they, city, guys. Yeah, I mean, CCK is number one. Green Street, I think that restaurant and their menu and their and the I've had ambience. their brisket. Their brisket I think is better, and their brisket sandwich. Well, it doesn't matter. This, I don't like doing that though because smoke is so good. It's so good, and it's so far from everything else. So, so like it's just a different neighborhood. It, yeah, it's kind of just giving a reason on why. If you don't give it a five, here's why. It's because there's That's places all that is. are a little bit better. Yeah, and I got a weird thing going right now where I only do it in point two five increments. Mm -hmm. So that's a four point seven five. Wow, so disrespectful. I know it really was, and I and I, and I acknowledge it, and I'm mad at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, imagine waking up every morning with this personality oh. and having to press on. I literally, my life's a nightmare. Yeah, me too. I think about it often. If I woke up next to that. Mm -hmm. I've had therapists turn me away. <laughs> I go, I didn't know you could do that. They go, oh, yeah. we got enough of Good. you. It's like when I go into casting rooms, and like, up. we got a lot of pale redheads with pink skin. Yeah. And I go, but I went into a therapist's office, and they go, I got a lot of you. I go, but I'm a different person. They go, no, you're not. If you, if I ever saw you come out of a, a sleeping bag, it would literally look like a pink dog's dick popping out, like getting horny. Like that's the type of little wet, especially because how moist your face gets just from regular any day, everyday activity. You kind of get like a glisteny sweat. You look like one of those little red rockets popping out of a sleeping bag. Hello, I'm here to come. <laughs> You don't get this on Chicago's best. <laughs> Do you ever wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Do you ever wish that you could take back what you said? Do you ever wake up and then wake up again? Cause I've been caught getting too far ahead of myself. Roll on, push back, reset.